Hello guys, Arizan here, and in this video I'm going to be going through the changes to shamans in the 5.2 patch notes. Before we start, this is a new shaman gear, I'm on the PTR server. Uh, comment on what you think of it, whether you guys like it or not. I didn't actually like it at first, but it started to grow on me. So let's go through the changes. I'm going to start off with one of my favourite changes as an elemental shaman, which is that shamanistic rage can now be used as an elemental shaman. In case you do not know what that is, it's a 30% damage reduction for 15 seconds on a, on a 1 minute cooldown. This is a great change for elemental shamans. It could be used while she's stunned and you can glyph it to also dispel all harmful magical effects from you. So it can be used to get out of a major deep freeze, which is going to be great. This is an amazing change for elemental survivability. Okay, so the next change is a change to elemental mastery, which is level 60 for talent true. Uh, it's now going to have a 1 and a half minute cooldown and it was 2 minutes. Another cool change is the Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning will now deal the same damage to all targets. Each jump used to reduce the damage by 30%. This is no longer the case. Flame Shock's duration has been increased by 25%. This will make it easier to keep Flame Shock on all targets, and you'll no longer need the, to use the almost mandatory Glyph, Glyph of Flame Shock, which will now instead heal you for 30% of the damage done by your Flame Shock. Stone Bulwark Totem now absorbs 25% more damage, and when summoned the Totem has equal to 10% of your health. It seems like Stone Bulwark Totem will now be the way to go for Elemental Shamans, due to the fact we are getting Shamanistic Rage. Here's a nice change for Enhancement Shamans. Ancestral Swiftness Passive Ability will now increase their melee haste by 10% before it used to be 5%. If an Enhancement Shaman decides to pick Elemental Blast as their level 90 talent tree, they will also have a chance to gain agility as one of the stats. When taking the Primal Elementalist level 90 talent tree, elementals will now deal 20% more damage, so in total they will do 80% more damage than the normal ones. As you can see here, this Fire Elemental is doing pretty nice damage. Elnish Fury Flame Tank now increases Lightning Bolt damage by 20%, it used to be 30%, and Lava Burst damage by 10%. This is a slight nerf for Enhancement Shamans, but it's a buff for Elemental. I haven't actually played around with it yet, so I'm not too sure whether it's worth taking. A change now for Resto Shamans, it's done actually say it on here, but it's that Conductivity, the level 75 talent tree, no longer requires the target to be within the healing rain. This means that so long as your healing rain is down, all of your party will receive 20% of the healing done. Conductivity is a talent I disagree with. I think it should be a passive ability for Resto Shamans, because I really doubt that many elementals and enhancements would use it. Lastly, ending with a nerf, Glyph of Purge, the one that makes you purge two magical bursts from the target instead of the one, will now apply six second cooldown to purge. However, not using the Glyph, it will still have no cooldown. So that's it for this video. I'm really happy with the Shaman changes, and I'm sure there will be more before 5.2 goes live. I'll be posting any more changes in the description of this video, so be sure to check the description. I'll be keeping you guys up to date. That's it from me. If you enjoyed the video, then subscribe, like, and comment. See you guys next time.